This is a very dirty story. It's really disgusting. A story that is repeated over and over every day. It's gross. This story is repeated by the young and the old everywhere in the city. What are they thinking? This story has been going on for years and years. It's get us done. With no ending in sight. This story has to change. And this is where a very dirty story begins. In the future. It's 2050 and littering and graffiti has taken over the city. It's taken over the sidewalks and the playgrounds and even the streets. In fact, this city is running out of money, just trying to keep our city clean. The mayor didn't know what to do. It's 2050 and this little story is going on way too long. I know who can stop the littering. The mayor beamed up the people that he knew could help this dirty city. This group had a lot of great ideas and nothing would stop them. These are the people that could see the future and make a change. It was a group of kids that lived in a small community called Northside. This group of friends had a reputation for solving some of the city's biggest nightmares, like turning the city's streetcar into a hovercraft and creating the first air trolley. They were called the Supermines. The mayor knew the Supermines could solve the litter problem that was taking over the city. Why would they not care? There's some evil force that's making those good kids go bad. And the kids got right to work. They decided to look to the past and saw how the problem began with a group of kids that just didn't care if they trashed the city. So the Supermines put on their time-traveling jetpacks and went back in time to 2014 to find out why. Once arriving, they came across some kids littering, and their Supermind spy team quickly took out their scanning equipment and found the evil force that no one else could see. Hidden between small particles of matter that only the scanners could see was the litter beast. And for every piece of trash that hit the ground, they got stronger and stronger. Superminds brainstormed about how to stop the litter beast and make Cincinnati a clean place to live in the future. How are we going to stop this evil beast? They tried to think of everything. You can't see it. You can't feel it. The only thing we can see is what they left behind. Then they had a great idea, and they quickly went back to the future to explain it to the mayor. You have to show people a better way to live. A life without trash. We have to organize and educate. And the mayor saw how it would clean up the city budget too. We can stop this litter beast from taking over the world. The Superminds asked Miss Cindy from the neighborhood to form litter leaders. She talked with kids about how to pick up litter. And Miss Tori taught the kids a new word called abatement, which is to get rid of stuff like trash and feed. For every piece of trash put in its proper place, the evil beast starts to break down. We're doomed! It was only a matter of time before the sidewalks were clean and the playgrounds were trash and graffiti free once again. And for the graffiti beast, well, they're gone for now, but all it takes is one piece of litter and you never know where they might pop up again. That's a wrap. <laughs>